What terrifying truth did you uncover in the catacombs? Nestled at the heart of the forgotten village of Elderglen was the Chapel of St. Morwenna, an ancient structure rumored to have been built atop a network of catacombs that predated the chapel itself. Legends spoke of these catacombs as a final resting place for something far older and more malevolent than the villagers cared to remember. My intrigue with these tales led me down a path I could never have anticipated, straight into the heart of darkness beneath St. Morwenna. It was a crisp autumn evening when I ventured into the chapel, the setting sun casting long shadows across the worn stone floors. The air inside was cool, heavy with the scent of incense and the silent prayers of centuries. A hidden passage behind the altar, concealed by an ancient tapestry, revealed the entrance to the catacombs, a narrow staircase spiraling down into the earth. The descent was steep, the air growing colder with each step, as if the very ground was drawing the warmth from my bones. The catacombs stretched out in a labyrinthine network, the walls lined with niches that cradled the remains of the long-forgotten dead. But it was what lay deeper within that would sear itself into my memory. I found the chamber by chance, a vast circular room carved from the bedrock, the air thick with a palpable sense of dread. In the center stood an altar, not of Christian make, but something far older, its surface etched with symbols that seemed to writhe in the flickering torchlight. As I approached, the ground trembled, a low rumble that echoed through the catacombs. From the shadows emerged figures, not ghosts or spirits, but something altogether different. They were guardians, ancient beings bound to the chapel, their forms shifting, caught between this world and another. Their voices were a chorus of whispers, speaking a truth that had been buried for millennia. The chapel, they revealed, had been erected not as a place of worship, but as a seal over the catacombs, a prison for an entity that slumbered below. The symbols on the altar were part of a ritual that kept the being contained, a ritual that required renewal with each passing century. The guardian's eyes bore into me, a silent warning of the consequences should the entity awaken. If the air crackled with a power that I could feel but not see, the very fabric of reality thinning as the entity stirred in its slumber. I fled the chamber, the whispers of the guardians following me as I ascended back into the chapel. The door to the catacombs sealed itself behind me, the ancient tapestry falling back into place as if to hide the truth once more. The terrifying truth of St. Morwenna's chapel and the entity bound beneath it haunts me still. It was a reminder of the ancient bargain struck in the shadows of history, of the darkness that lies waiting beneath the surface of our world. The chapel stands as a sentinel over a horror unimaginable, a veil between the light and the dark, holding back the tide of chaos by the thinnest of threads.